Hello everybody, uh, Salty Walty is back, we have, uh, we're gonna continue our playthrough of Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam, uh, let's take a gander at our Patreons here, we have Brandon Markey, Owe Shipper, Azrael, Kaden Maki, Casey, Cybaster, Dragon Spartan 90, Gundam Nuggers, Ibram Gons 8863, Jeff Dunn, JJ, Clap, uh, Maverick, Momoka, Ninja Guy 12, I don't let that guy, pr uh, Support me anymore. We don't need that type of people here. Peter, Strike, Tyler, Ooh. Spud, Oni Savage, Suit of Souls, Trellos, Joseph D, Ole, Ali Mos, Steel Talon, and Bad Logic. I want to thank you guys uh, for supporting me and all your the, all the care you guys have given me. It really does mean a lot. It uh, really helps keep me going. And uh, yeah, we got Rob here and Jacob. So let's let's get oh, on to right. it. Let's do it. I forget where we left off at. I think we. Uh, I think you're doing Lila. 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 Mm. Uh -huh, uh oh. Finn's uh, caught up in the door because he's big brain power here. Yeah, yeah dog. Yeah. yeah. So Rob, what have you been up to this week? Uh, this week's just basically been a giant ball of stress, one way or another. But uh, on the upshot, I did uh, I did drop the uh, Shazam DS a, a couple hours ago. So. Me too. Nice. Just a big mud rock with more shit, so there you go. Pretty much. So. I mean, uh, alternately, it's a, it's a Rick DS with beam cannons, and that it's... is fine by me, too. Man, that suit is weird, though. It's just, it has too much shit on it. It makes it awful. Or... Yeah, it's, it's one of those that has so many weapons, I am kind of having trouble with swapping from time it to time. Has so, it has so many weapons that aren't, like, necessary. The My problem is the beam cannons. Would you hit pierce? that fine when you get a chance? Oh, yep, yeah, I'm sorry. No worries. There we go. Just want to be able to keep up with you. But my problem with it is the beam cannons, they're nice, but only doing 21, uh, dam uh, 2100 damage? Hmm. I was true. getting not... significantly more out of them, but I yeah. I don't know. I don't I know what I was Mark III for like 4300 damage. Yeah, I think, I think the be I think the cannons might, might do t like 2100 damage each. Yeah, I think you might just be hitting with one. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I've been told I I've been told they have piercing. They do. I haven't comp yeah. So that they they yeah. And basically, uh, you know, having those cannons on top of having a Rick DS that is slow enough that I can control it without feeling I'm in an out of control bumper car. I, I'm kind of down with that. I'm enjoying it. I played it in space and it looked like that. Mm. I I actually like it more <laughs> with the scatter bazooka than I do with the hard. Uh, oh, the, the, this is the one. This is the one suit that's good with the uh, the, the bazooka. Yeah, this is the one of the I'll have, bazooka. I'll have to give that a try. Decent. It's yeah, actually pretty decent. decent. Suck that. I'm hitting 2100 damage with that. Yeah. Oh, nice. When I hit center mass. Yeah. Oh. No, that thing is strong. Well, nothing of oh. value was lost. What happened? Capricorn died. Oh, background? Yeah. Amelia! <laughs> I says it in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my drops have been kind of poo. I mean, I got the news. I've been getting a lot of. Oh, my half off. My half off Tim's been. Mine was. Garbage. Mine was all recycles. I mine got a few minor. Suits I don't have. Oh, yeah, that. Have. Yeah, that. Exactly that. M mostly weapons for things I don't have I or. Chip, yeah, weapon. I got for the seventh Gundam and. Right, yeah, I've got I've gotten either weapons for things I don't have or weapons for levels of things I don't have. I have like the yeah. level five Gigan weapons, but I don't even have the level four Gigan yet. Ah, I'm the opposite. I have the level five Gigan and level three weapons. Ah, except no, I have the claw. Like the little fucking the claw. Claw. Jabro. <sighs> Where that gun of ground type? I dare you. You don't know the testicular fortitude that I have. Oh, I know. Do it with the machine gun, you coward. You think I won't? You... Play the meta, salty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got actually. Machine I got a. Meta. I got ninja's request. Uh, one of them anyway, which is the gun of ground type in these capture colors, with the <laughs> machine gun, and I actually did pretty decent. Oh, good. So that's gonna be either Wednesday's or Thursday's video. Fuck. Yeah, I've, I've got I've got some videos stored up and I've got some guest stuff. I just have to get it all voiced over, like probably late late tonight before I go to bed. Yeah, solid. What's your opinion of the Shrizzum Diaz? 
so well. Like I, like I said, I'm 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 enjoying it. I just need to. Uh, I've only played one round, but it went fairly well for my first round. So got like top damage with it at like 123k. So yeah, I had a very similar experience with an ace match at 600. On um, like the night it dropped. And I was the ace and top damage first life, all that good stuff. Nice. Um, yeah, I play like Dean Mudrock, but then I saw a guy who plays it like a slower Ricky as, and he just crapped all over me. I was like, oh. Yeah, I was I was so kind of going for slower Rick DS uh, mainly when I did it. It's like I said, that's uh, that's just that's exactly what I wanted out of the Rick DS. I cannot steer that thing. No, like he, he was even doing melee and stuff. He wasn't even using the cannon. He was slow oh, yeah. Out. yeah, I was just like, mm. yeah, I wasn't I wasn't going quite that far, but try tried to get a couple of melee rounds off, but I still have that downswing problem where uh, with hover suits where I just yeah. I pull back too soon and I lose all my momentum. Dude, the suit that has that problem the most is that desert type bomb. Yeah. I can believe it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, like, I'm it, <coughs> it's asinine how bad that is when, it, when you accidentally press back. It just stops moving. It just doesn't mm -hmm. work. Yeah, what I'm, saying, I'm not saying that the new DS is bad, but it just feels out of place considering there's so many better supports to play at that cost at this point. I mean, I agree in space, but how many, like, raw 600 supports are there outside of 7th Gundam? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of supports at that cost. Oh, no, there's, there's the MRS level 2, and honestly, I would almost take this over the MRS level 2. Also, level 4 Jaeger, I dropped that recently. There's oh, a level man. 4? Uh-huh. I, I think they just added it. I don't even want to fathom how strong that thing is. I haven't gotten the rifle for it yet, I don't think. I th I'm kind of holding off uh, to really take it for a spin until I do. That's going to that's gonna do some nasty damage. And, I, uh, and, the, and then the shrizzing in space is weird. I actually really prefer it on the ground. Even though it's got space vanity. I didn't even uh, realize it did. I'll have, to, I'll have to give it another try in space. For that one episode, it showed up and it was only in space, and he got shit on another Gundam team, and it was over. Yeah. <laughs> Done. I thought it was interesting that they specified in its name. It's uh, Neo Zeon. Yeah. Does it show? So, does it like show up in Unicorn being used by somebody else, or? To my knowledge, no. The only other place the Prison of the shows up is in Republic of Zeon service, which is where they defected from, which looks exactly the same. Hmm. Uh, there is a Gear and Greed version that is Gloomy Forces colors. Right, so unless they're gonna do actually like the Haman versus Glimmy Civil War kind of storyline and have like the two different versions of the Bawus and wow, Jasus and that's all that a good bit stuff, of an odd suit to get. She gets the muscle off. <laughs> I th I think no, I think she ends up replacing Mawa because Mawa in the show has replaced her role. So yeah. I think in, in Mawa would never have to join. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I it's so weird that they did specify Neo Zeon. Yeah, and also I guess this is the first Neo Zeon mobile suit we have in the game, so yeah. Yeah. Also, it'd be the first Republic of Zeon mobile suit because we're finally really at after the one year war and Double Order 3 and all that. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I don't know how I feel about the Double Zeta already being announced. I don't like it. I can tell you how I feel about it. I'll be interested to see what it does and how. Because there's just oh yeah, there there's just abilities it has that I'm not even sure how you'd really make good use of. So yeah, like you know the hyper beam saber that can cut through anything, like even a giant meteor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, the reason I don't like it is not because of the double data or it, they're going too fast. Yeah, I mean apparently like, I I missed this uh, myself, but somebody said apparently they've. Uh, already announced uh, in, if you look at the clan matches like late yeah. this month there's already a 650 clan match so Which I'm pretty sure we're gonna more level 2 yeah that's what yep. I was about to say and oh no Rick DJ or, or DJ level 3 oh mm -hmm. no um, but yeah they're just going too fast they're, like they, just, they they have what 3 suits from Zeta MSC in there right now out of mm -hmm. like 16 not to mention they don't have anything from, uh, from uh, Advanced Zeta or the various other Zeta MSV series. Like, yeah. the, like stuff from MSV, stuff like that. Like there's there's like 10 Yakushiki they ain't got in there. Mm. Great. Really good. Like, the Mass Production Tai. 
I really yeah. want the full on Yamashiki. Yeah, like there's. There's so much stuff they can still add. Just be like, oh, we're going double Zeta. Yeah. Well, oh, I'm I sure they'll double new... back. So I expect new by Christmas? Like. Man. It uh, wouldn't. At this point, it actually wouldn't shock me, but. I really. Okay, so. That... I just wonder if the game's actually in monetary trouble. So like, no, get, get, get the big dog popular stuff out now so we can make our money. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to miss her? Yeah, it, it concerns me how fast they're going. Yeah. Or maybe, like you said, they'll take a massive slowdown once Double Zeta hits and save new for the second anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. Or next Christmas, like, really draw it out. Because, like, I can't see the Hazels not being popular. You know what I mean? Like, anything with the advantage yeah. of it, I can't see that not being popular, especially when... since how little stuff it pops up in. Okay, so question. When was the Double Zeta built? Wasn't that, like... It was built at the end of 0087. Like it was, it was built and tested during the uh, the war against the Titans, and then was rolled out during the war against Axis. So I mean, what time wise? Yeah, I guess that does make sense. We'd be getting the double Zeta. Well, you would why would we get the first five double Zeta? Yeah, that's why. Like, where's my, where's my B type? Yeah. Ah, stick. I mean, where's my mass production double Zeta? Mm-hmm. With its dumbass baby if he fires the cannon to see just stop working. Because <laughs> like, oh hey, this I love how they actually put that, like, oh hey, this if you fire this, it's only one third the power, but the suit'll just stop working. We're gonna keep it on there though. <laughs> like why would you just take it off? That's really that's bring br a yeah, big bring po uh, power right there. I'm holding out hope for the dumbest double Zeta variant of all that I love the most. The prototype uh, double Zeta B from 0094 across the sky that has Nitro system on it. Um, the big dumb blue flame. <laughs> I don't know Super that Super new type bullshit. Uh, so you know what the Nitro system is, or no? Um, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember the- I don't remember that one. Okay, so the Nitro system is on the Delta Chi. Okay. The Nitro system completely replicates new type powers with only increased aggression. It has no other side effects I know of other than that. Okay. So like, it, it appeared in that, uh, Unicorn PS3 game, because that's where the Delta Chi came from. Ah. Uh. Um... So anyone in that suit can use the prototype chain funnel that the Nitro or that the uh, Delta Chi has when Nitro systems activated. Hmm. Uh, so basically, think of it as like the it's one of the final versions of Exam. Yeah, it's one of the final versions of Exam, and then instead of being red, it's like a blue ethereal flame. Okay. Now put that system on a prototype double Zeta gun that's just on fire and looks cool. <laughs> And still has those high mega cannon and all that good shit. I'm in. Like, can you imagine, yeah. like, basically an ex an exam double Zeta? Yeah, I'll, t I'll take Super <laughs> Saiyan Blue double Zeta gun, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come in here and slap the shit on it. It fights the Phoenix in that manga. Like, it's that strong. Oh, like, oh, nice. Oh, time. That's, that's heresy. <laughs> so it's like, well, I mean. I think in the manga they even retrofit it still has a biosensor on it and the nitro system. So not only is it running on the souls of dead people, it makes you a new type. So then the biosensor works even better. So it's like new type Saiyan 2. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, I want that one, man. I want that I want that nitro. I, there's some cool fucking manga covers over where the nitro system's on and it's almost like the uh the NTD gimmick where like a panel open up and the flames are coming out of it. So, look cool. Yeah, sounds oh, like Oh god, fun. what unicorn at Christmas if new Gundams for anniversary. Oh god. Ugh. Oh god. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> We're I just want a little one year war again. There's still suits from the one year war they could have. That's what's well, well, I I have a feeling those will keep being clan match rewards. Yeah. yeah so, that means I'm well, gonna Well no, now, make... now they need to move the Zeta Gundam. Now they need to have like the mass production Zeta type be a clan match report because we're a double Zeta. You get, you're already in a different era. Yeah. So that means I'm gonna have to and make also, extra let, long for my half cannon. Mm. Yeah, let, let's let's point out that the Firelance, the uh Masala, 
the Bound Dock, and several other, like, big screen time mobile suits from Zeta still aren't in the game. Mm-hmm. Not to mention all the MSV shit that they don't have and all that, like... Oh, bro, yeah. you were- this is way too early. Yeah. Where's my Fire Lamp? Where? Bitch, where is my Fire Lamp? <laughs> they know- BB Steven knows it's not a good mobile suit, so that's why they're not gonna have it. You're just a coward. <laughs> coward. You're afraid to be a good, a good flight fight, but better. Just, watch it just be able to fly for like 30 seconds. I mean, it would have to. It would have to have something going for it. <laughs> yeah, watch it just fly around like an asshole the whole time while Transformable Mobile Suits can't do that. It's just like, haha. It should be the first thing to be able to do air melee. Yeah. Well, the Goofs kind of can. They can just do like the oh, downplay. Yeah. But yeah, it's really. But like, watch it do, watch it do like full combos. Mm. Like, watch it do like full like air juggle people. <laughs> I don't like that. Look, look at like Dodd Tank from Devil May Cry when he air juggles Stinger. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, Byron, Byron, like regular Byron, no. I hate the hands. Like that's the thing I hate about it the most. Dumbass hands, with little fall, Johnny claws. Yeah. But as a suit, it, suit design itself, like it's good. Mm. And then the custom fixes the problem I had with the violent and just like, hey, we're gonna replace the hands with beam guns, and they turn into beam shaders. Like, oh, there you go. Yeah, win. And then the Azold is like a weird in between from Twilight Access, where it has the backpack from the custom, but it still keeps the violent gravity claws. It's just like, mm. why? And then the custom unit too is just, it's, it's fucked. Like, yeah, that thing's all. It's like part gav play, part bound dock. Fucking. Transformable. It's all over the place. So, found off. Found off the president. <laughs> we in. <clears throat> yeah, I think double Zeta. While the Zeta is good at being very standard, the double Zeta should be good at being just off the wall dumb bullshit. Yeah. I kind of hope like, it's, it's main weapon should just be the high mega cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's all it's got. It did a beam saver. Like that, like the version of it in this game, where it has the beam saver in the high mega cannon. That's it. So, I was thinking how they could do the high mega, uh, mega cannon would to be make it like the Zox continuous beam, but the longer you hold down the trigger, the more damage the suit takes. Like, no, I should just be 7th gun damage. and it just does 30,000. It just does like 170,000 damage or something stupid like that, but you only get like one per life. Yeah. And it's done. Yeah. Alternately, to go with your idea, Salty, um, not specifically like health damage, but maybe just location damage, and when your head's broken, you can't use it anymore. I do yeah. like that. That would be good. That'd be better. Yeah, and make it a, a kind of like an exam thing where even if you repair, that's just that's just it. Oh, that might God. Balance. I I just thought that there's already two double Zeta variants that they could add. The enhanced double Zeta and then the full armor double Zeta. Oh mm -hmm. god. And then the Faz. Oh god. Yep. The Faz is gonna be disgusting with that big fuck off gun it has. Okay, so in versus the regular Faz has that, like the regular full armor double Zeta. It's the most stupid bullshit move it has because it tracks like up to 180 degrees behind you. And it does like fuck off big damage. I wanted to do that. I wanted to do that in GBO so bad. I wanted to just, just do a stupid, cracking Dean Garaby attack that will just one-hit everything. Uh, speaking of suits that play in other games, like each other, the camper in Maxi Beast On is just GBO. Like, it's GBO the mobile suit for Fasty. Uh, it, it does a little flip when it shoots its guns. Mm -hmm. with, or it shoots its bazooka, but other than that, like... It's, it's, it's just the entire GBO arsenal, but faster. Okay. It's got a little shotgun, it knocks down, it says staggers, and all this good stuff. So, uh, the interesting thing is the down melee, where it does a chain mine, it's basically the counter, and it does a chain mine grab and blows up, and then when you, it, you have to reload it, it punches into a semi and pulls out another chain mine. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> it does, yeah, this semi just phases into <laughs> existence and grabs it and pulls it out. Fantastic. So yeah, it has everything you can do in GBO for Fester. Nice. And then it's super is it just shoots every weapon on its body, like twice. Oh nice. <laughs> so it just 
just shoots everything. Like, you just do all this bazooka and really all this panda out. You can stop there, like, good time. Nah, kill, kill Camille. He took kill my... You. He took my fucking... Shark kill. Yeah, the Masala's not in CDO, and it's the first transferable mobile suit in, like, go on screen. I I'm really mm -hmm. upset that it's not, because it, I think it would be way strong. This better be the mission suit, like, fuck Methus. All my homies hate Methus, it's not Masala. <laughs> Such a good design. I wonder if they're gonna allow it to go on uh, ground or not. They should. Just be a big boy. It's be bigger than Zoc. At least around the same size in terms of like shoulder width and shit. Yeah. The Bone Oak Sahan already has problems where it can't go through shit. <laughs> the Bologna. Uh, you might as well just take that damage. That Bologna sandwich though does a shit ton of damage and it's neutral with the beam swords. Oh yeah. Oh, quality. Uh, the, the, I forgot the pause of the not in the game either, bro. Like, how no. Double Zeta, why? Because it's the anniversary and they just need something major. I'm, I'm still kind of surprised the they didn't The O just... and the Cubile. Yeah, that was that was still my thought, but I, d but I don't... But no, watch it be all three of them now. Watch it be the O and the Cubile and the Double Zeta. Uh. I, it, I was thinking about that, just... How how we got all the GPs back to back there? You know, one of them, I'm thinking, uh, one of them will end up being the you spend ninety dollars on tokens and you get this. Uh, That's what I think the double zeta is going to be. No, the double zeta is the title card. It won't be that. It'll be the cubelay. Possibly the O. One of those. No, they'll, they'll they ha they they'll hide the new feature behind the paywall just so they have to uh, they 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 want your money. <laughs> They're like, oh, you want you want to be broken and have like thirty funnels? Mm, here you go. Over here. Right, the the Cubelay is gonna be fucking disgusting to fight in this game. Oh, it's gonna and, and watch it'll if it's a, <laughs> if it's any if it's any type, it won't matter. Mm -hmm. That's how bad. Like it doesn't matter. It might as well be its own type. Like it might as well just be a green type or something. Just like <laughs> new type. <laughs> that I mean the the uni the the unicorn and the fucking. New gun would have to be in the same type as the Kubelay. Yeah. Same with the Zazu. Well, and, re and retroactively, like, the, the Zion and the Bishop. Yes. But yeah, like, the Kubelay... And you know what's gonna be worse? Like, in terms of just, like, a raw gameplay is gonna be worse than the Kubelay? What's uh, that? The Kubelay Master Reps Yeah, because yeah. it's stronger than the fucking... The yeah. standard. It has, mm -hmm. like, almost double the funnels. It has beam cannons. It, oh my god. It, that's gonna be the support type, and that's gonna be the one that just destroys the game. Like, that one's just gonna shit on air. Like, I wanna, I'm interested to see how funnels are actually gonna work. Because, unless they limit them significantly, you can just, like, I'm gonna launch 20 funnels at this guy, and there's no way he can evade this. Mm-hmm. There's no like way you're gonna die versus 20 those fucking Yegans. beams. Yeah. Unless they're like, okay, well you can shoot these beams, but they have no influence on Shaggy. That, that's, that's a possibility. That would be the only way to do it. Yeah, like, they, they literally don't even count for your Shaggy counter. Like, they just damage. Which would still be OP as shit. Can you imagine shooting a, like, sniper suit in space that's, like, charging up a cannon or something? It's like, here's all of my funnels. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a few boys. Like, the O, the O's gonna be strong. The O should be a raid. The o, like, the O should just be just, like, the god tier raid. Yeah. I mean, this... big enough. It's... You know, just talk, uh, talking about uh, this and, and the problems that the Cubelay could bring It's probably why we're jumping to the Double Zeta. They are probably still debugging the heck out of this. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I don't know why. It sends, sends shivers down my spine, the thought of, like, the Cubelay getting into the game. Because it's, yeah. it's just gonna screw it up, and no one's gonna want to play that call. Unless they have the Cubelay. Yeah, it's, e it's either... I, I, I... 
I must have been sharing trade secrets because it kicked me out of the call. They're like, no, you know too much, bitch. You gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I, I was saying, you know, from what you were saying about the Cubelay, with it being, you know, potentially game breaking, maybe that's why we're jumping to Double Zeta, just because they're still trying to get that set up right. I mean, it, maybe, but to ha like, unless the Cubelay comes out like Christmas or something, as that, like, if that's like the final one. Yeah. I don't know. Because the O's still gonna do. Like the O, like I said, the O is big enough that it needs to do massive damage. Like it's gonna have the four melee. I like, guess it's gonna kill mm -hmm. sports, but it's so big it's gonna get hit by everything. Yeah. Like if you miss the O, you suck at the game. Like repeatedly, like you just can't hit the O. <laughs> like get off the game. Cause throw grenades. Like <laughs> it's big. And it's only gonna have. Watch like, it have. Two watch it have maneuver armor level four. It would like, have to. I mean good. seriously. It, it's it's gonna need every tanky ability in the game for it to be good. Well, I imagine it's gonna have the you can't knock me out of my melee because I'm so damn big. Yeah. Mm. I imagine it's gonna have maneuver armor. I imagine it's gonna have the anti explosion armor. I imagine it's gonna have all that. I mean, it should be pretty limited though, unless they give it a saber throw, which would only have its beam rifle and one four arm sabers. beam saber. Yeah, it should have its like one handed beam saber and then have like the four be a second melee weapon as a sub and then the beam rifle. Yeah. Wait, does this thing store its beam sabers in its legs? Uh, I thought it was at the wrist. Right, it, I don't know, that animation kind of looked like it was dropping something into its legs. Hmm. Oh, maybe. I don't know, actually. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, the Barzam. We, we... Hooray! No. No. Barzam's <laughs> for cowards. It's real barland hours. No. I hate you. Ah, this suit. Oh, I... you, know you, you know you love this suit. Press X for doubt. No, you know you do. Deep inside, you're just like, damn it, I hate the chick of baby like this mobile suit. No <laughs> hey, I hate everything like... about this thing. No, but look at all this it's stuff It's a timed to mission, too, so I should have went oh, Shoot him. This thing doesn't control right. I hate this fucking Because you're thing. holding X. No, I <laughs> wasn't. X. God, I hate this fucking thing. No, you don't. I'm liar. Whoever invented this thing needs to lay off the crack. Nah, he's like, fuck transformable suits. All my homies hate transformable suits. <laughs> I can't remember if the Eagly came first or the Barlant was made from the Eagly's data. I don't know. I can't remember where this lore is. God, uh... nah, the Eagly's the worst of the Mark III, so. It, it, it's the ugly one. It's still better than the Epsilon Gundam, though. The Epsilon mm. Gundam? Do, do, you know, do you know the tragedy of the Ep Epsilon Gundam? I've never heard no. of it. So the Epsilon Gundam was in a model graphics design series of like one of the Zeta Project suits. And it's made for deep space operations. Guess what its proportion system is? <laughs> a chain of nuclear explosions. <laughs> which is a real... Which is a real deep space idea, like instead of a solar sail or anything like that, we're gonna launch a bunch of nukes, and the explosive force from the nuke is gonna propel me forward. Nuclear pulse engine? Yeah. Yeah. Same thing Axis so, is supposed to have, as I recall. Uh, Axis has, like, massive thermonuclear engines. Yeah. Or, or maybe, maybe, maybe they meant pulse engines, like, pulse jet kind of style. This is, like, literally... I drop a bomb, the bomb just pushes me forward forever, and then I, I start slowing down, or if I have to turn, another bomb. Like, it okay. literally just toss, it's tossing nukes out the back of it. That's retarded. Aw, oh, yep. damn. So, so close. sucks. <laughs> Confirmed, no. right here. You suck with the Byerland. <laughs> Bruh, I did all the arcade routes for the Byerland. Well, what do you mean it that, sucks? It, it's, it's, it's garbage, I'm sorry. No. Yeah. You just don't, you just not chat enough to handle its power. It has no power. That's why I got it's shat. power with a B. Bower. Power. Powerful. Launch. <laughs> You're taking out the Masala. <laughs> Masala's fucking amazing, and you know it. Oh, it's cool. It's actually surprisingly good in versus, like uh, the PS4 gun in versus game. I don't <laughs> think it's in Maxi Boost. Huh. It, ha it, has a, it has a move I effectively call the Eagle Claw, where out of its mobile armor mode, it just grabs with a leg and shakes you around <laughs> and throws awesome. you. That's awesome. Uh, okay. It also has a pressure field super, and then while it's in pressure field, it gets like double its ammo and it can it moves faster and all these kind of stuff. 
Um, but yeah, the Epsilon Gundam is the dumbest Gundam I think to ever come out of model graphics. And model graphics is made some stupid shit. Yeah? Like, oh, but I like the idea, like, it's the 1980s, or they're talking about deep space exploration and all that shit. Like, oh, hey, what, what's something they're actually talking about right now? Oh, pulse, a nuclear explosion propulsion. Gotcha. I'll make it yeah. better. Too. But, it, it's a very weird-looking suit, and because it only appeared in model graphics, as, as part of, like, a semi-official MSV, but it, it's never had any more official art. So it's mostly fan art of it. Of the horrible 1980 whatever model shit that they did. Or okay. you figure this is this is still the 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 infancy of Dumpla. The fact they have moving arms is the innovation. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've seen some of the no grade models and like, damn, they rough. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I mean you figure it's 1980s plastic toys. Not all 1980s plastic toys are garbage, and this yeah. is one you had to put together yourself. So it's more garbage. It's that next level of garbage. Stop running, Rick Davis. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that design. Yeah, so the Epsilon Gundam. Very... Yeah, that's actually uh, based on uh, Nagano's design for the Double Zeta, as I recall. I think it was something, yeah. Because I think they did all the model graphic suits that out of out of, like, failed concept designs they just made into Gumpler. Yeah. Because I think it's the same series the, uh, the Eagly actually appears in. But yeah, the, I, think, I think it was, like, Secret Zeta Project suit or something. I can't remember what the exact title of the design series was. Mm. But yeah, F1 Gundam. Fucking, I'm, I'm gonna use my nukes, though. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I like that more than, like, the dumbass space laser the Stargazer has to use for pull to, to get it up there. Because this is just like, hey, we got a bunch of nukes on Earth. We're just going to throw that shit in the back of you and you're going to use to fly around and shit. Stargazer, you have to build a, basically a doomsday microwave laser in space and <laughs> have it propel a mobile suit. So, I mean, the nukes would be cheaper. A lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. I Ooh, fuck. I had a request to oh. do um, the Gerbera Tetra in Gundam uh, Gundam X colors. Doesn't map well, Gundam but X? it actually, yeah, it turns out really well. I figured they meant turn X. No, Gundam X looks nothing like that for you. No well, which? Okay, let me ask you this: Which Gundam X? The standard one. Well, the white, or, no. like no, there, there's like there's like four I know, the color white one. for a standard. They're all white. They have no, different well, there was, There's one black one too. Well, that's Kai, but then he gets painted, and it's in, it, then its chest is painted. Whatever off color the, blue. the main guy, whoever the fuck his name is, gotta make this goddamn so difficult. Don't. Hey, I'm just asking to make sure you got the request down. I did, and you, I made you sure. All right, you just don't want to come up and be like, no, I want a Kai gun match. Or Rick Adler's Gundam X, or fucking... You know what I mean? It's just like, what? So is Gundam uh, X part of the UC timeline, or no? Or no, it, no it, it's it, a it, thing. It, yeah. It's, it's the After War timeline, which is basically an ode to uh, the UC timeline. If it would have been apocalyptic. Mm hmm Which it did anyway, but like, one year war. Yeah. Uh, so basically, for those who don't know, the Seventh Space War, uh, is the One Year War equivalent, which, god, you've had seven Space Wars by this point. That sucks. Um, it, it, they only show basically the end of the, of the war, and it's, hey, the Zeon equivalent Space Revolutionary Army is threatening to drop a colony on Earth. Oh, we're gonna send the Gundam X with its satellite cannon to blow up the colony. Oh, you blew up the colony? It triggered where 90% of the colonies now drop on Earth. I need and to watch that's how that war ended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that did. I like the Gundam it, X's design, but I haven't seen the series. Uh, it, it's, it, it's very unlike other Gundam series. It takes place primarily on Earth. Like the original Gundam, it was cut short. I think it's actually the shortest yeah. Gundam series at 30-something episodes. Like 38, 39. Um, it is post-apocalyptic. 
Like, it's basically this is society clawing out of the remains of the last society. Yeah. Uh, mobile suits are everywhere. And most of the mobile suits that you find are, like, the shitty ones. Because they had Gundams. Mass produced. They don't need these anymore, so they were just, like, in warehouses and shit on Earth. So when the war is over and there's no government, I'm gonna go steal that. <laughs> uh, all of the Space Revolutionary Army suits are named after months of the year. Sounds like you have like you have like the Genus for June, uh, the Octope for October, etc. Uh, most of the, I think it is Earth Federation. Mm, no, I can't remember. I can't remember what the uh, the Federation is called, but they're basically the bad guys. They're basically the horrible pieces of shit. And uh, Neo, Neo something. Uh, but yeah, they they have a gym equivalent called the Do the Dothrix, which just got announced as a P Bandai, like possibly the cheapest P Bandai kit of all time. Okay. Uh, it's like fifteen hundred yen. Wow, it, fifteen bucks. Yeah. Now you that's got a, to get it from P Bandai, and I, I, I should. Yeah, I think they just made a P Bandai because they know like the doll suit is not a very popular design from a not very popular anime. Yeah. But it's the mass production unit, it's simple, it comes with a beam rifle and some beam sabers and a shield. So if, if you're gonna get a T-Bandai, I'd be like, I'm gonna get this one, this one's cheap as shit. Mm. And it's a weird, awkward, awful color, but that's how it was. So yeah, there's a bunch of, like, Dossies and Genesis running around the Gundam X as the, uh, basically the Raiders. They're called Vultures in that game, they're basically scavengers, but yeah. they, they can be horrible. They can be horrible people or good people or whatever. And then you have the the mobile suit salvagers like Jared Ran. Jared Ran is so sad as a he, small child. He, he was pretty <laughs> sad. Because I know I've seen a clip of it, and he just fucking threw a flashbang in this mobile suit's yeah, eyes and then that, hijacked it. I'm just like, yeah, and then sold it because I don't want it. I'm like, I want food. Like I require food. I don't require this. And it has a cute little like budding relationship between him and the main new type girl too far. Like, yeah, I get, it's, like, it's very, very unlike other Gundam series, in terms yeah. of tone. Like, it's almost like a more serious Double Zeta. Like, it, but it, it handles more characterization than in Double Zeta instead of wacky hijinks. It's just more of a light-hearted, like, character study. So what's the difference between their new types and our new types, essentially? Uh, it, it's the theory behind new types. Uh, the new type, there's ba basically the space people believe in, like, a Xeon Daikun-like thing, and the Earth Federation equivalent believes in... They're just weapons. Well, they talked to the first new type who got dissected and his mind got uploaded to a computer. Yeah, yeah like, he's horrible. They treated him like garbage. He's just like, no, new types are just mutants. You shouldn't put any significance behind them. They're, like, they're just... It's not the future. You shouldn't treat them as weapons, though, because it's still people, but, like, don't give them any special importance. Like, yeah. they're, just, they're just people. Mm. While you see, like, no, they're God, though. Yeah. His name's Dome. What? Dumbass. <laughs> His name's Dome. Mm-hmm. -E, D-O-M-E. With... Uh, he has a bunch of GX bits he can... Oh, so so the bits in the in Gundam X, they're that next level shit. They're actual mobile suits. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Yeah, the bits are mobile suits. That's heresy. There's funnels. The space people oh, made funnels. Like, they're normal. Your friend's like, oh, we can't really make funnels, but we can make mobile suits that are controlled by a single mobile suit. Yeah. So basically, instead of funnels, we just made mobile suits. And here you go. You know what? I want to go and do... A roll? I want to go and do... Come on. Arcade? Come on. Wait, 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 what? Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, God! Come on, God! Fuck it, uh... <laughs> yeah, so the, the only two bits you see are a are the GX bits and then the GX bit dome. Oh, and then you see the rash vet too. The rash vet's kind of like a side project. Yeah. So you only see three types of bit mobile suits. But they made a bit mobile suit for every type of Gundam. I don't so, like that. So, like, they're, they're, yeah, but like, so like you have the, the heavy arms equivalent, which is called the leopard. The leopard? It had a, it had, yeah, the leopard. Uh... Which I actually like its design a little bit more than the heavy arms. Yeah. Um, but it had bits. The the Zeta Gundam equivalent. Call oh, a monk fucking died. Yeah. Oof. Now now we're level three. I'm going out. Yeah, now you gotta do it. Um, 
then like the uh, the Zeta equivalent called the Airmaster, which the Airmaster's oh. upgraded form, the Airmaster Burst, is coming out as a P Bandai, along with the uh, Dolce Eo. Nice. You want to get that? It had up. bits. It... I, I also like the um, the uh, the delight design philosophy because all the main Gundams get damaged at some yeah. point, and they get their quote unquote upgraded form, which is basically just shit we had laying around. Here's the upgrade. Mm -hmm. So like the X Divider is a its gun is a leftover battleship being gun. Yeah, I, like I, like I, I read about gun. that. I was like, hmm. I slide that in, and, and like it's it's big beam shield, its main thing, like which basically the equivalent to peacock smasher from UC. Just like, hey, we have a bunch of these beam cannons that are linked together. Let's put them in a shield. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> just shoot. So I, I like that. It's just like this is shit we have laying around. That that was a justification. Like we're gonna upgrade it with this and fix some design flaws. It makes it more. It makes the mobile suit seem more personalized. Yeah. Almost like they're dumpler almost, but it's like they're actual in universe war machines. Yeah. The vultures have a lot of personality. Like especially like in the first episode, you see a bunch of custom like all the vultures are descending on the Gundam X to capture it because it's like, oh hey, this is just worth money. Let me go take it. And it, it, they're all super personalized. There's actually a Sema Gelgoog that makes a, a an appearance. Really? I don't know. Yeah, it's like a background character. It's got a big mace. That's cool. <laughs> so we're. I was talking to some of the people in the Discord, and uh, I brought up. You know, you know that goof that has the heat, the pile bunker mace, the the goof with the uh, weird Indian name on it. Yeah, I do. I feel like uh, one way to customize that suit it would be to make it where even if it hits the shield, it'll do 75% damage to the suit. Yeah. Just ignore the shield. And I think that'd be pretty damn cool for a weapon. Well, that would be pretty cool. It would make it unique for sure. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I must say they all fucking missed, didn't they? Yeah, that would be me as a new type right there. <laughs> oh. That did not even crack. What was... <laughs> it went the opposite direction. Yeah, Gun of X is a good series. I own it on uh, DVD. And of course, nice. they, announced, they, they announced the Blu-ray. I'm like, oh. It, it looks... I like and, all the mobile suit designs from that series so far that I've seen. It, it's basically, like, just like Steve, it's a love letter to the UC timeline, except they don't fuck it up. Yeah. They did yeah. at the time, just because it was the late 90s and... Or no, it was early, early 90s and there was no money. So... It didn't go well. Yeah. Only only Gundam series since the first one to be prematurely cancelled. Yeah. I wonder how Gundam would have been if the original series didn't uh, get cancelled. About oh, 30 very. episodes longer. Yeah. Well, not just that. Like, would have changed... Would have changed how it was now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, yeah, going like, by I'm the original... Uh, yeah, going I'm by the original... Would also be dead. Yeah. No, Amro would not be dead, but Char, uh, but Char would. Really? Oh. Yeah, because somewhere out there, like, from the you depths the of Usenet, somebody translated the original, like, 50-episode uh, treatment for Gundam. And some of the characters who show up in the novel uh, show up there. Um, Bright, actually, I believe, was supposed to uh, fall in love with uh, Cusco Al, who was going to be a uh, spy aboard White Base, much like Miharu was. Yeah. Huh. And just, yeah, uh, and it just actually, um, yeah, the Gundam in that treatment got taken out by the Gigan. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, to my, uh, to, to my understanding, it was, uh, he's leaving, he's like, fleeing a bowl of food. He's like, oh, I see my friends, and then a fucking Gigan snipes you shit in the core fight. Yeah, some, <laughs> something like, along those lines, yeah. yeah. No happy ending for you, Amaro. Yeah, and Char, uh, uh, Char basically ends up, uh, uh, Pretty much uh, crippled and disfigured from uh, uh, from getting blown up by the Gundam, um, and just basically ends up doing desk work around Boaku uh, while realizing that he has handed Gear and Zabi control of the world. Oh, so he doesn't have to get his revenge in there. Uh, that no, Gear and basically Amuro goes into uh, face Gear and uh, uh, who sets Boaku to self destruct and. Char just basically does the whole, you know, you stay, we go, we belong dead kind of thing. And, uh... And Amro gets sniped by a demon. Yep. 
Well, supposedly... No happy the, ending for nobody. No, supposedly Amuro survives the version I wrote. Oh. The, the Gigan takes out the Gundam and then, you know, ki kind of like the last shooting deal, and then he go ends up in inside a boa coup. Oh. Yeah, what I understood was not the novel, but like, maybe, maybe that's like the second version of the screenplay, because Amuro fucking Could dies. Do. Yeah, yeah in, the, in the novel, he yeah, absolutely does. Yeah, but he gets sniped by a... Uh, uh, Rick, D uh, Rick Diaz with a beam bazooka from Char Squad, like just a nameless wingman. Yeah. Yeah, little Gigan out here sniping boys. Little mm -hmm. nameless Gigan pilot on a bow crew defense. Wow, you destroyed his shield in a whole combo. Yeah, it's because I'm cool that way. You're also about fucking died. <laughs> nah, fam. So I'm trying to get Crossfire to I work on the PS3 emulator, and it's just not doing it. Oh, because his cross, his crossfire barely works on the PlayStation 3. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the Japanese version runs significantly better, but the American version is garbage. I'm not surprised. It also has the worst voice acting of any Bandai game ever. Oh, really damn, do. he styled on you. It really do. Damn, he styled on you. Yeah, and then, I, and then I said, uh, this is Sparta to his face. Yeah, but... He did the big fucking eye catch, I'm a twirl, and then slash your shit. Oof. Oh, I did it again! No, he just- Oh, you can run. Slash. That's why, right, Armor All, you run, little bitch. Alright. To be fair, I would die. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this, this is punk ass, I'm still in a t-shirt, Armor All. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he was a whiny little bitch when the he show came. He was awful until, like, right after Matilda died. <clears throat> and Ryu. The fucking... Like, he was just a... He was Kylo Ren. Oh, there's a mm -hmm. secret one right there. I gotta kill the Gundam, yeah. I think. No, you have to kill all three. Oh, do I? Well, no, I killed all three. Yeah, no, 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 there was a gun cannon in the can. No, just keep going and get the Gale Dugan and then come back. That is... That's heresy, and you damn well know it. <laughs> well, uh, he also didn't... Completely wipe out fucking white face now, did he? He should have. If he no, would have, weapon, he... his weapons literally didn't work on the Gundam or the white face. They just didn't work, other than heat off. Well, to be like sheer force. Well, to be fair, I mean, we've won over this. The design, the the armor on the Federation suits don't make no sense when they say, "Well, our, ours is not based solely on hardness." It it really is. No, no it's not. There's a difference between hardness and density. Well, that's the thing. It, even if the way the, their armor is designed, it's all flat points. Eventually, this machine gun, after a few rounds, is going to chew through it. But no, that's the thing. It, it is the densest material known to them at the time. Like, they literally nothing unless beam weaponry or six... And, and or oh, high-caliber rounds. Like, like high-caliber rounds. Like, uh the Magellatop wow. cannon, and I took like four hits to start damaging the same car. <laughs> like, unless it's high caliber weapons, nothing goes through that. Like actual 120mm rounds, it cannot, it barely scratches the paint. It's so dim. I mean, because hardness is not, is uh, like chemical treating and stuff like that to get different versions of steel. <laughs> but like on a, on a molecular level, the Lunar Titanium is just better than the ceramic uh, composite metal and Zoxus use. So basically, the Zoxus are using tank armor, like modern tank armor, that had, without like the ERA and stuff like that. Oh, or at least fun. at the time, modern, so like 1960s yeah. like patent armor would be basically what they're using. While the Gundam is like a whole new level of metal. It's like the most pure titanium you can make. Oh, fuck. So it's made in space, this. and there's no impurities in it. Mm hmm And also, I think they said they did something else to it that makes it, like, fucking space magic, but whatever. Space alchemy. Mm hmm But yeah, and then I like, I like by Zeta. It's just like, everything's made out of loot titanium now. Because he said, fuck that, everything's gonna get made by it. I, I, I pissed a couple people off when I said, uh... You know, the Rick Deus is a Gundam. They didn't like that. It is. Technically, it is. It is. It's yeah. called the... It is, it is called the Gamma, the Gamma Gundam. Gundam. Yeah. yeah. I hate it. There's also a, uh... Also a, uh... Gundam Build Fighters model kit called the Gamma Gundam, uh... Build Fighters or whatever. Or Build Fighters or whatever. 
Yeah. It's that one I told you about that has the Rick Diaz head on the gun. For the yeah. Hey, Garmos, what's up, bud? How you doing? Oh, okay. he's, not, he's not good. <laughs> you can't just let him do his death. That's okay. Spoiled brat. <laughs> he was. Little fucking purple hair fuck boy. <laughs> like, I've, I've said it before, like, but they're, they're, uh... His relationship with his dad really freaks me out. It's because his dad hated all of his other kids, but he turned out to be assholes. The except Dozel. Well, Dozel was... Dozel's all the... Dozel was a Chad. Dozel still cheated on his wife, though. Like, as a person, he's uh -huh. still kind of a piece of shit. But he, he, he's yes, less of, but... He's significantly less than a piece of shit than Giren. Giren's oh. like a fucking monster. Giren's like Bright. <laughs> no. Bright wishes he was Giren. <laughs> I love the sound of the Zagox beam rifle in this game. Yeah. Yeah, Gearing. That sounds good. Gearing's, uh. Oh. Yeah, Gearing. Gearing's basically just a reincarnation of Hitler. Like, that's even how Dozel sees him. That's why he talks to him about fascists and how they lose all the time. Mm hmm. There's a. Good old fascist. Yeah, I think. Yeah, because was just too back stabbing. His other son that Dozel got disfigured in the car with was just like a scumbag. Mm -hmm. I, okay, I don't know much about that one at all. Because I don't think he actually exists in the real UC timeline other than like Dozel had another son that was killed. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he ever named him or anything. Yeah, he was, he was another one that uh, Origin, I believe, brought in from the novels. Oh, yeah. okay. So, so yeah, in main UC timeline, it's just an unnamed son gets killed, and if I build it with the stars, and then he's like an actual character. But yeah, I think he viewed Garma as the like only one that was gonna redeem his family, because like Dozel's or uh, Dagwin's kind of a piece of shit too, because he fucking murders uh, Star's dad. Mm -hmm. Poisons the shit out of him. Yeah, and, and Dagwin sees that, like, when he gets too old to run at Gearwin, Gearwin's just literally turning it into Nazi Germany, and he's just like, fuck. I did yeah. this. And when Garma dies, he just, like, he gives up he gives up hope on the entire situation. That's when he, he started Garma discussing out. the peace treaty, right? Uh, no, that, like, that's when he he completely turned against the war. Like, that's, that's like, but he didn't start discussing the peace treaty until Zion was getting their ass handed to them. They were forced back in his face. Yeah. And then Garen kills him. Oof. Melts him. And one third of the Federation fleet. Man, the enemy can be really fucking evasive when they want to. They yeah. Really can. I want to fuck that, I'm out. Go punch this gym. I am. Gonna re. re okay, well. I, I don't know no, how I, I hit him, but okay. Ooh. 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 Back here. But yeah, um, the zombies in general. I mean, Cassili to me is like the only, other than Garma, that's like one of the only, like, just not fucking horrible people. And she's just like a schemer. Except mm. unlike Seema, she fucking does it. The origin makes her a lot worse, but yeah. in, like, in terms of the anime, she was always like the noble, like, I believe in Zeon, but at the same time, you're fucking. Kieran's a piece of shit. Uh -huh. Well, Dozel's like, oh, he's my big brother. He tells me what to do. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm in. Well, to be fair, Dozel's never been struck me as the smartest person in the world. He's kind of very just... strong of character, but easily manipulated. Yeah. Yeah. And then also wants to pipe fucking Haman's sister or whatever it was. Because her oldest sister. Pipe. Man, Gun Wars fucking. But... Detailed when it wants to be and convoluted yeah. when it comes to when some of the other also shit. Also wants to be because a lot of shit contradicts each other. Because the, the reference I'm refer the reference I'm going to is uh, from MSVR uh, Universal Century Heroes, which is the Shin Matsunaga manga. Yeah, hmm. like yeah. It's Hamon's oldest sister is part of the new type program at Flanagan, and she's like, "I'm gonna pipe that." <laughs> <laughs> That's oddly put. I'm gonna pike that. <laughs> oh, I mean, he cheats on his wife. She's fucking pregnant at the time. He was like, no. Nah, With Maneva? Pike that young thing over there. Yeah. 
Like the Flanagan incident, like the, the war started by this point. I'm just like, oh, fuck it. Rob, you need to watch uh, Unicorn. I think you'll like it. Just stay away from narrative and <laughs> watch. No, you have to watch narrative so it can ru retroactively ruin Unicorn for you. No. You know, if we get to Unicorn, they're gonna add the Phoenix, and it's just gonna be stupid. By the time, I think they said they're stopping at Unicorn. And the oh, original, did they? yeah, they said they're not going anywhere beyond Unicorn. Like, we, so we won't like get like the Sea Gundam and the Penelope and all that good shit. Hmm. Isn't the Penelope one of Zero's favorite Gundams? I don't know. I'm pretty I don't sure remember. it was. I, I like it's it, good, I just it's like the pretty good in Maxi Goose on. Is it? It is. I've talked about it on the on this series a few times. So um, it okay. still hasn't gotten any worse, so yeah. The so I don't know anything about the deep striker. What is that thing on its left arm? Uh it's an eye field. Oh is it? Yeah, it's an eye field generator like the uh GPO three. Mm. Now I'm doing some damage. There we go. Yeah, also, yeah, no, it's not. It's not the sensor for the smart gun. That's right. Yeah, the smart gun already has it. Well, yeah, because you're in a Gelgu versus a Zaku. I ain't no Gelgu. Zaku. Yeah, this, this is no Zaku, boy. No Zaku hours. Fuck Zaku, oh my god, we hate him. <laughs> Oh, that no, one-handed fucking Gelgu's ice. Probably my, yeah, he does that little side shot where he looks <laughs> over there like, I got you. Yeah, see, this is what spawned right at the end of the mission last time. You didn't get to kill the gun thing. Yeah. To be fair, like, the Gelgu is, performance-wise, just as good as the Gundam. It's just yeah. it is not. It doesn't um, have the armor, but it's more agile, and it doesn't have the weapons. Yeah. That's why I prefer, like... Customizing my own Galgoots to have like the Gatling gun that Ghost Custom has or the missile pods or some shit. Well, really, the Marine gets it right. It puts a Vulcan in both arms. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then, like there's other versions that have like the high explosive grenades to get really soft targets. And then the, and then, and then the Jaeger has a beam gun. Well, in some sorts, it's a beam gun. It like, has a lot of gun tanks. The Jaeger's probably the best Galgoot design. Into me, like aesthetically, it's just very angular. Well, you already know my favorite Galgo design. That yeah. fucking Galgo Riga, uh, Rigelgu. Oh, the Rigel. That has yeah, the, but uh, the re but the Rigelgu Jaeger though. I don't recall seeing that one. It's a Galgo Jaeger, but it's a Rigelgu part on it. That's. <laughs> I don't know how I like that. Oh, Gaten's gonna you survive. Love it. Oh, damn, got him fucking, got him doing it to it. <laughs> he does the little low. <laughs> Pew. <laughs> That's a nice one, uh, one animation right there. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yes. Return. Return. Sounded like Snake there. It's, this is the best voice actor for Char, though. No, oh, definitely. Other than the definitely. Japanese one. Okay, so what's the difference between the... I would finish the main route first, because this okay. ends in... Uh, something. Two missions. And also, and also, for every... Every Zeon pilot that you unlock from here on out, we'll have that route. Okay. Because you, you did it on Shark. So hey, we were just talking about Garla, right? Well, uh... guess who's a pilot? Dude. Dude. He also gets the Super Gundam. He gets, yeah, he gets the Mark II and the Super Gundam. They're like, hey, Garla, you're, you're you're the well, he's in this story. He's the one leading. Because uh, because in this story, they still lose the one-year war, even though all these people survive. They still lose. Mm -hmm. But then when they come back from Axis, Garma's oh. leading from the front. <laughs> oh, my God, they fuck. <laughs> but no, Garma, Garma's like... The... Him. <laughs> I think I think in this game, Giren still dies. So, it's, um... <laughs> it's Garma. It's Garma's like the Supreme Commander. And he's leading from the front. Like, he's like, give me a mobile suit. I knew this day would come. <laughs> Alright, who do you think Garma would have sided with if uh, he survived? Would he stay with Haman or would he go with Shar? Stay with Zeon. That, that's, his, that's his birthright. He's like, he's like the prince. I'll show you. Oh, oh you mean, you mean, um, 
if Char would have formed Neo Geon earlier, like his Neo Geon? Yeah. Or what do you mean by? Oh, he probably would have went with Char. Really? If Char never betrayed him, he would have went with Char. Now, the fact that he survived, like, if Char still would have betrayed him and it would have fucked up, he, of course he would have stayed with him on. Because honestly, I don't feel fought? like he should have killed Karma. Like, I felt like well, that was unnecessary. I gotta a kill the whole family, and then he forgets about Maneva, and he's like, fuck. He's like, I can't kill this small child. Plus, feel like... he's, user, he, he's user is innocent, like, not part of the zombie family's corruption. Well, I don't think I don't but, think Garmo knew anything about the assassination. I'm almost positive uh, Dolezal and the rest did. No, but he was big when Spaper. Mm-hmm. This is a little unfair. <laughs> you just like this is like uh, it's always that joke. Of, like, why does this one guy steal all these pictures of family members from parties? It's the one thing you can never replace. <laughs> That was more of a big fuck you to Dagwin. Plus, he still viewed Garma as part of the corruption because Garma was so spoiled brat. He was so spoiled by his position, yeah. he didn't think he was worth his shit anymore. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, I got, never mind. Oh, he is. I'll take He's that out. Back. I'll take Bye. that. He peaced out. <laughs> um. But he viewed Maneva as, like, too pure to, like, she... By the time she's in Unicorn, she can't remember her father or her mother or anybody. She just remembers someone in charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did her mother die again? Maneva? Uh, she got sick at Axis. She oh. got too much exposed solar radiation or whatever it is. They all, they all die from that shit. That's it. The classic... Space, the classic anime sickness. I mean, to be fair, like, like sunlight gives you cancer here. I can't yeah. imagine like sunlight with no atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. Like death. Just pure radiation. Almost as bad as uh -huh. uh, getting punched by Fat Gerald. No, <laughs> nothing's as bad as getting crumpled by Fat Gerald. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> That kid got fucking rocked. <laughs> There's nothing he could do about it. Because that's a grown ass old man punching a child. Oh wow, just no chill armor. Well no, this is pu this is new type armor. It's like you fuck with my potential girlfriend maybe. Oh, um there's a route here where uh, Sayla and Lala are both dead. Yeah. That you have to unlock. So I guess go kill yeah. Sayla? No, no, it's not this mission. It's, uh, you gotta get her alive here, I think. And then when there are a bow of you have to have them both die. Yeah. And also, that might be a start of an orange route that you get later. So I wouldn't do that during the last mission. Uh... Fucking... I said a oh, The Elmish is a weird design. What is? The Elmish. Yeah. yeah. It's it's, it's one of the ones to, it's one of the ones Tomino did himself. I mean, fucking tricorn hat, so intimidating. Mm-hmm. Like I like how that's like no, we gotta call it a tricorn hat though. Like we call no tricorn hat though. Mm. Fuck, that's not. Yeah, that's not a right oh, speaking of mobile armor, mm -hmm. fucking, I saw a scan today from the new Thunderbolt manga. I don't wanna know. Terrible. Oh, you do want to know. Was it that bra bro sh uh, shot I saw going around? Yes, I that the hybrid it. Gundam Zaku is just controlling a captured bra bro. I haven't seen it. Fucking wild. I'll send it to you after the episode. It's just fucking wild. This man's just literally holding the front of the bra bro, just like awakened. <laughs> just his shit. So yeah, you know how like the Gundam gets like the G parts, and then like that one computer game, it gets like the G op dash. Yeah. Mobile armor. Yeah, no, this is the Gundam. This is the this is the hybrid Gundam's mobile armor. It's just the broad bro it's attached to. No, it's not even attached. It's just holding onto the broad bro from the I front. Like this thing. I don't know what it what, is. What the but I like it? It? No, yeah. The theme song oh. that's playing. Uh, I can't really hear it. Oh, it's encounters. It's, it's either it? encounters or shards coming. I don't, think I, I don't think I can turn it up any higher than this. Because if I turn it up any higher on me, it starts yeah, making my ears bleed. Yeah, that's, uh, that's beginning. Beginning? Yeah. 
Returning. Is it the Abawa Koo song that was playing? Like the one that always plays the Abawa Koo? Or is it no, one? it's it's the one that oh, plays okay. when, when Lala dies. It's oh, the fuck. beginning. Oh, okay. Oh, and we got Lala now, too. Yeah, we got the Zeong. Uh, they're yeah, gonna make me You're ready to play the that. Elvis, boy. I don't... Oh, See, you, oh, you, wow. you got the... Join Char. Because he discovered the de the details of Operation V. Yeah. We were like, hey, I gotta go fucking... We gotta get out of here. Shit. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Just dead. <laughs> no. He's got the goof too. Ah, huh, look at that. We got Ron Barral. All right. Oh. Yeah. Fuck your goof, big Sam. Yeah, he doesn't. Oh, no, even... you've, unlocked, you've unlocked Gaia now. Guy here. Come along. Let me just... Oh my god. Ortega and M.A.S.H. Yep. <laughs> Look, the world sprawls out before you. Wow, that increased really dramatically all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Welcome, welcome to the Axis route. We're going big, boys. Um... Yeah, fucking Thunderbolt's wild as shit, boy. Like, I, I, he, he felt better. He's just like, you know what? I've wasted so much time. I have to make up for it with just... You can tell he's a Gundam fan though, because he pulls like off the wall shit to like make cool. <laughs> like that Zoc. Who the fuck cares about the Zoc? <laughs> like the mainstream. I care about the Zoc. No, I'm sorry, but like, hey, what, did the, what was the Zoc's appearance in anime? Oh, about two seconds? 15 seconds? Ten. Yeah, it had, it had a couple scenes where it was going up the river and like looking like, oh, that's intimidating. And it fucking gets one hit by Amuro when he, when he calls for backup. The Zoc gets like three shots off and then gets one hit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I... Oh, uh, well, like also said... weird, also weird Zoc thing. Not to mm -hmm. interrupt the train of thought. The Zoc from Journey to Jaburo appears as Blueprint in, in, in MSVR. That's awesome. oh, nice. So I don't know if, if I, I can't remember what the context is. I don't know if, if it's them chasing down leads to mobile suits they think exist. Yeah. And they they can't confirm if it's real or if it was like scrap blueprints or not. Like that. But yeah, it shows up. It's just like what? I'm Why hoping. Are you here? I'm honestly hoping for the anniversary. We get some new fucking maps in the game. We need like five to drop at once. Yeah. I mean, I'll think we have to do what is HQ. Before oh, what I was gonna say before is, uh, yeah, I did, I did, I think I mentioned before, I did actually time it, and the fight with Zoc lasts exactly 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, okay. Fucking Zoc. Hmm. I mean, I don't care if they change the maps at all from GBL1, just like, just pour them over, HD, HD Yeah, we need like five maps to drop over. at one time. Like, I'm tired of playing the same, like, eight maps at this point. Including Space. And most people don't even play Space. Well, yeah, I, I, I will admit, the, the new map for space is fucking immense. I, I, do I, li like I like it more than Fortress Interior. Yeah. Yeah. I hate Fortress Interior. Like, at least I like that they what they did with the verticality. The problem with the new map is you have people who don't know how to play space, and they get their shit pushed in so hard, you lose, like, three quarters of the map. Yeah. In, like, yeah. two seconds. That's a now map you're running where you... problem with the Zeong. That, that map is uh, something where you absolutely have to be stupidly aggressive. You can't be passive on yeah. that map. No. You really can't. That's why, like, full well, raid teams will do fantastic goes, in it. Hey, you have the center? Okay, you won the game. <laughs> yeah. Like, at least the new map has roots you can go through the side yeah. and, like, get the center back. Like, Fortress Interior has nothing. Fortress Interior is garbage. Whoever made that match have been fired. <laughs> and I have to hate it so hard because I tell my friends that's their favorite face map, and I'm just like, fucking how? Mm. Well, I think you could fuck out of here. It's like, leave. It's amazing, armor is really squishy when we do this mission for, you know, the good guys, but if it's on, you know, for us, no, he's a fucking tank. Yeah, well, just do, just do a little five-finger salute and slap all these guys, okay? Just slap them real hard. Oh, that would look like a Superman punch there for a second. That was hilarious. He just, like, flying through the air, arm forward. He's going in. I'm a little upset that Zeong's 
uh, doesn't have a special ability in GBO where it can fly just his head. It has yeah. that next boost. Yeah, I'm, I'm upset that Zion can't flip you off and shoot a bing at being out his middle, middle finger at the same time. <laughs> just for dramatic effect. The, the one finger salute. Just fucking... But yeah, the uh... A maxi boost on, you get a survival mode when the Zeong dies, and it's just a head. <laughs> it's just a head. Uh, the, you know, you know what the Zaku Amazing is, Salty? What? The, you know, do you know what it is? Yeah. From Build Fighters? Yeah. It has a survival mode, too, where it's just that, like, fighter that's made out of the extra armor. Like in that episode of Build Fighters, yeah, where it's like the two core fighter backpack fighting each other. Yeah. It, that's its survival mode. And it's actually pretty strong. It's probably the strongest survival mode, because the XE repair and the Zeong head suck. <laughs> the Zeong head's literally just a head. Like, what, you, you gonna fight a new Gundam with a head, bro? Like, what are you gonna do? Returning. And then the XE repair, it, 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 it's, it's super fucked up. You can only do, like, half the moves the XE can do. <clears throat> ah. Oh. Yeah, shot. Okay. Well, ah, then, but uh... you ha Don't do that green route. <laughs> Too bad I can't take that. Well, if only yeah. if it was the perfect Zeong. No, play the Zagok. Oh, I, no. I, I want you to head missile white base a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought I always thought the head head vo uh, head missiles in this uh, game sound really annoying. They do. Oh yeah, look, it's Garmin in his pilot suit that he appeared in like one episode in. But they have mm -hmm. to make Garma a playable unit, so... I don't remember him ever appearing in it. I only remember him... He does. ...in his dog. Yeah, when he goes out his dog, he, he wears that. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. And he almost gets shot down by Armo. He gets that little chunk of the wing taken off. He's like, oh! The white base is a real beast. <laughs> mm-hmm. I hate like how they painted the white base. I don't. I don't think it would have been the those colors. Yeah, but how are we gonna sell the toys? If it's yeah, not no, that's like what that. I was gonna say. Uh -huh. If it wasn't for the toys, I don't think it'd been that color. But damn. I mean, the red probably still would have been there, to be fair. But I don't think the yellow and shit would have been. It just would have been like battleship gray, with red accents. Because space battleship y Yamato though. Mhm. Mm Screw your white base. It's never done anything for me. Wait, do I have to kill this or do I have to kill Armor? Alright. Uh, it's heart. Escape heart. I think it's Armor. Alright, let's go kill him. No. Because Kai uh, took the gauge down by half. Yeah. I gotta go ahead and hurry up and kill Armor then. Now, I imagine the whole gauge is white base, but white base also has the whole health bar. Like, it's a lot of. Oh! Armor was like, I'm gonna do that little air combo on. Oh! Go for it. Style meets style. Real respect, real. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. Get helicopter. Truly, you are worthy to be my rival, Armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh fuck. Emulator lag there for a second. Yeah, it really did. Fuck you, Armor. Die! The white race is flying away, die! Come now, on. while we're playing, while we're playing these other versus games, Rob, I need you. To, I need you to help me. Okay. I'm trying, trying to convince Salty to get Max to do phones when you like a co-op playthrough. <laughs> Got him. Write in the comments below if you want Salty to get Max to boost on. No. And do a playthrough of the campaign. No. And branch battle in because I already got I, got I already got someone else bugging me. He's like, oh, I'll buy you a fucking PS3 and a, a capture card so you can stream Crossfire with Jacob and Rob. I'm like, that's a lot of money, and no. See, that's a lot of money. Max boost is sixty bucks. Yeah. You have to find a PS3 and then find Crossfire, which, which I, to be fair, I got Crossfire. Fucking dollar. Yeah, it's like have, five dollars if I you had like, to get a replacement. I have like mm -hmm. ten copies of Getting, Crossfire. I wouldn't buy a used PS3 at this point. Like, straight up. I would not. I don't trust it. I mean... What is that noise? Is that the gallop? Yeah, it's the gallop. God, that was loud. <laughs> that was loud as shit. 
Um, but yeah, get get max speed. You can do a single player. You can do the co-op. And you can have like a get into fighting games moment where you're just like, hey, we're gonna try it. <laughs> They're TDP. It's probably not go well. Hey guys, you wanna watch me get really, really pissed off and get myself you wanna watch me get my shit pushed in for a half hour? Wanna watch no, me get well, a heart we, attack? We, we, <laughs> no, we 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 wasn't. No, you just, you just can't take that game serious. So that's the one game you gotta be like, nah, I can't take this TV. TV, TV. Mm. And then you get, all you have to do is turn. You just gotta turn off one setting, salty, and it'll make it all okay. Save results all. <laughs> Done. Uh, you don't even have to worry about it. That's literally like the first option even when you make a room. Save results? No. No. And then it doesn't matter. Right. And like there, there's like a hundred and seventy mobile suit trans summer repeats to play. Like that's that's a lot of variety. I am chunking away at armor. Hey, you know you want to play that Zeta Hedzaku and call up. D don't even front. You know you want it. No, I, I'll only get it if it has the perfect Zeonga broadsword. Uh, actually. Yeah. No, it uh, doesn't have it. I already fucking oh. know. I already checked. Might be DLC. Never. I think it's in Versus 2 as a super. Is it really? I think it's a super, yeah. I think I think the Zeonga turns into perfect Zeonga. Alright, let's see. Alright, we got enough time to do one more. One more before I gotta. Go be. Yeah. Dead. In the bed. But yeah, I think, like, are you getting it, Rob? I can't remember. I think you said you were interested, but you were on the fence. I, I'm interested, but I am terrible. Uh, I was terrible at Extreme Versus. I was terrible at Versus. I will probably just let this one pass for a while. So you and me are in nah, the same get, boat. Nah, get that single player content. Because unlike Versus, this actually has single player content. Mm. That's what has me excited. Because just in the beta, the branch battle mode has 80 missions you can play. Oh, well. Wow. In the beta, yeah. Now, granted, it's it's like uh, routes A through E, and they both have like eight missions. And then if you complete the mission, you get an alternate mission you can do. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's like I can't remember. Which, uh, it's more than four, I think. But yeah, it has a lot of single player content. And that's not even the mission mode, and it has a bunch of unlocks you can get for like uh, UI customization, and all kinds of crazy stuff. Mm. So like, it just actually looks like. Not quite this level of campaign, but pretty close. Yeah. Over like every Gundam series. So uh, just for that, I would get that because you figure like DS and all them are gonna be like the PVP side. You guys could do the single player side. You're like, here you go. That's true. And then co-op and all that. Because plus you gotta support the US release that isn't a shitty Gundam game like New Breakers. Like come on. Yeah, yeah like, that's, come on. that is a point. Now, granted, it's like a fucking six-year-old game, but hey, it's still not New Breaker. <laughs> yeah. But it's definitely playable. <laughs> and it's gonna be supported in the future. There is more DLC coming. Like, Lucas Rex is in the arcade, but you know, Lucas Rex is uh, add-on suit. Like, it, uh, Montero and Zaku Amazing are both just added on as, like, here's the PS4 launch edition. These are just in the game now. Yeah. Suit. And then Lucas Rex is pre ordered Because of course it is. Uh, there's... Yeah, PvP side... I would say if you're new at the game, like everybody out there in YouTube land, if you're new to Versus, try to stick to runes with people with low rankings that you don't recognize their name. <laughs> because... They're, like, I, I... I played Versus a lot, and that prepared me pretty decent for this. There's still people who do shit all over me. All over me. Doing just crazy, like... They're moving across the entire map without using their their boost gauge. I don't even want to know. Yeah, no, that's that that's next level. Like, I have a fighting game stick, and I play fighting games for a living kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But, uh... If you just want a good single-player Gundam, like, arcade fighter game, this is the one. It's a lot better than Versus. It actually has single-player content instead of, like... 50 missions total. The beta has the beta, the beta for Maxi Boost has more missions than Versus did. Period. Yes. So yeah, Versus was definitely PvP oriented. This will be a lot single player oriented because all the unlocks, to my knowledge, are mostly tied to single player. Yeah. Hmm. So it's something to do. Man. Like I said, gotta support the US releases. Protect missions suck. They do. They do. Now nah, you got time for one more. Returning. 
God, the proportions are, are kind of bad in this game. <laughs> well, what mission is this? Odessa. Odessa? Yeah. Play this a guy in the desert. That's... Okay. Fish out of water. Let's go. wonder what uh, Garmin's going to be. Probably still the Zaka 2. Mm, probably. It's a shame they don't give Garmin his custom stuff. He gets a Gale later, and we fought it or not. That's not even a spoiler. He just gets shark stuff. He's just aping shark stuff. Aw, oh, used in head missiles. Yeah. Fish out of water. Oh shit, they've got him to hit. <laughs> they not happy. Ah, oh, but they're like, geometry. Oh, but we learned it. We figured it out. That one's not, right I'm behind not, you. I was about to say, I'm not sure they have figured it out yet. <laughs> I think they're helping. Oh, except for that one. Okay, right, now yeah. they figured it out. He's like, sword no worse. Boonga boonga. <laughs> <laughs> and go figure, I'm, uh, Garma's in the fucking Adzam. Oh shit. Also, this is the worst position a big tray could be in to fire, because it's literally just shooting the mountain. Yeah. Like, it can't get its guns high enough. Oh! Yeah, nice, nice dodge. I thought you were absolutely dead. Nah, I'm too cool for that. <laughs> the one shot. <laughs> just like that gym punch. Wow, that was a quick-ass mission. Yeah. And there's that little fucking leader. Like, hey, what's up? Yeah. The ad handling. Returning. B. <laughs> Just the leader falling to the ground in the background. That's funny. Ah, right, yeah, we'll, we'll end at the Jaburo fight. He is. Now you ain't gotta play it. Yeah, oh, there go. Play it? No, you ain't gotta play it. We're good. Yeah, we'll save Jaburo for the next episode. You gotta do your roll, though. Yeah. Time for loot drops. Hooray! What kind of YouTuber would you be? All you need now is like a shitty VTuber version of yourself while you're opening loot boxes and you're in. No one, okay, so if I wanted to do that, it would have to be a salt shaker. And no one, I, know, I can't, you can't find anyone to want to animate no, a it's, it's salt No, it's a salt shaker with a Zaku one's head and just the one eye tracks your eye movement. I'd be fine it. with that. I'd be fine with yeah. that. I'd be 100% fine with that. <laughs> blue salt? Why is it blue? Mm, blue. Why isn't it blue? That's a better question. Yeah, blue. Uh, well, Rob, you pick what we open today. We got mobile suit, variety, and war, uh, mo uh, mobile armor and warships. Uh, how about mobile suits today? Okay. First one. Uh, Gaza C. Nice. Eric's the suit Eric wants to come to GBO as a mission suit the most out of anything. I kind of want the Gaza C myself, too, so... I, I wouldn't mind it. The... Oh, we got one new thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. See. Oh yeah, you got you you got a. It's all the way at the bottom, all the way. Yep. There it is. You gotta do its two transformations. That's a nice model. I like that. Press I don't like transform button. I don't like its uh, fucking gun though. That looks weird. How do you make yeah. it transform? Well, it's part of the body. It's not square. Is it circle? Oh no. Nope. Uh... Oh fuck! Yeah. It animates. And then, hit, and then hit it again. That's cool. It's got two modes. It, it, that's the flight mode, and you, in game, you cannot transform into flight mode without going to that little middle mode first. Forgot about that. I like watching that little eye move around. Oh, since we since we never did that, let's go back to all the other transformable mobile suits and watch them. Before we take off, let's find one. I gotta adjust because my knees are hurting. I no, gotta get a, I gotta get a different chair. There you go. Nice. It looks so weird. Oh, yeah, it's a bug. That is smooth just, as fuck. Yeah, I just like the GBO does that twirl it does. Yeah. GBO has to do the twirl. That was pretty cool. Very nice. I taught you functionality. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a good-ass gallery mode. Like, I can't... You can't... This gallery mode... Probably the best one. Yeah. That of the, yeah. of the games that had it. Man, those uh, go to your uh, go to your uh, captured because I think you actually have more transformable captured suits in AU. Oh no, Methus. Got the Methus. Titans Methus. Which color wise I like? 
is nice. Yeah, I agree. Yes. That's a very simplistic transformation. That's why it got mass produced and put into so many other mobile suits. It's the simplest thing. It's the simplest Anaheim transformable suit. It's perfect for mass production. Man, Zeta's it's... transformation is horribly expensive and ruins everything. Oh, you got the Zeta down there. You got that Titan Zeta. Do I have the Titan Zeta? Yeah, you got one. You got one Zeta. Oh, I, I, I do. Oh fuck! Wrong button. That was the wrong button. I'm tired. I took, a I took a nap earlier, but I'm still fucking tired. That was really quick. I don't understand what the fuck's out. happening. A whole bunch of things at once? Yeah. Wait. That's why the Zeta, why the Zeta always is looking. We get a simpler transformation mechanic for these things. How, what, how are the Zeta. vents getting there? Well, people. It chest just folds the whole, up? The chest folds flat, yeah. No. Oh, okay, now I'm seeing what. I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay, and now the I'm shield it. folds underneath the chest, and the little wing legs pop out of the backpack, and like the legs turn 180 degrees while the backpack moves to the lower part. I was getting really okay. That annoyed the fuck out of me. I didn't understand. Like, okay. The Zeta has an overly complex transformation. Like we've been weaving it over this. Like it's awful. I think you got like the Hummer B and stuff on the other one. It's the quick and easy one. Oh, yeah, oh there's a Masala. Yeah. Green masala. It's not bad. I like it. Well, it's not. It's mint. It's minty fresh. That's nice. Really simple. Kind of looks like a dragon, to be honest. It yeah. ri it reminds me of the Ragnarok from Final Fantasy VIII. Your ro the the spaceship you can get. Now that you mention it, yeah. Hundred percent. I do see I, it. I have no idea what that is. I'm just going to smile and nod. Be like, it's yeah, a spaceship. <laughs> I mean, it's a spaceship. There's not much else you need to know about it. Looks like a dragon, gotcha. for whatever reason. Hey, man, dragons are cool, and I'm in space, so that's also cool. So, so cool you, and cool make cooler. You like dragons, then, right? I just want to uh, make sure. Well, I guess you didn't have much else. Okay, there good. Go. Freeze off. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, we ain't got no, no mobile armors yet. Yes, don't forget to save. No mobile armors, well. Wow. I guess we're going to have to start rolling for a warship's mobile armor. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of distracted. Kind of worried about tomorrow's doctor's <laughs> doctor's. Uh, it'll thing. go. It'll go fine. They'll just tell you. They'll just tell you stuff you don't want to hear, and here's your pills. Yeah. The, you uh. seem to be on the load. I I put here so it doesn't try to play cutscenes. I understood. Yeah. Gotcha. So uh, yeah, uh, guys, let me know. I'm using my mic. See if it sounds better. I'm not using the headsets mic for the recording. Make him get maxi boost on. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I hope you guys are having fun, a fantastic Monday when you guys get to see this. I'll fill you guys in through a community post as to what the doctor says. And, uh, yeah, I uh, make sure you check out Rob from Flail Throughs. He's got that sexy man voice in the background you keep hearing. Uh, you got Jacob, but he doesn't do YouTube. So, yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic uh, Monday, and we shall talk to you guys later. Take care. I'm Bye.